Christmas will be after that, but it's not too early to think about your New Year's resolution. No. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Is it getting to the point where you guys are sad to see me coming? Yes. <laughs> yes. It? All right. A lot of people make them, but only about 8% of people keep them. That's it. But with a little advanced planning, you could be one of those people. So on the daily list this morning, I've got three tips for a little New Year's resolution advanced <coughs> planning. Are you ready? Number one, map out specific goals and time frames. Here's where that advanced planning comes in handy. You are far more likely to achieve your diet resolution if you spend a few minutes thinking it through. Make a list of the things you're going to do to actually change your weight. Simply stating that I'm going to lose weight is not nearly specific enough. Are you joining a food weight management group? Which one? When are you going to join? What will you manage? Or how are you going to manage what's required of that? Going to meetings, shopping for food and such, and setting a realistic date for when you first expect to see results. Check with your calendar. Make sure that you have room and time to do all that. And if you really are committed to it, make sure that you give yourself the time to do all that. Number two, think about setting up financial incentives. Research shows that you are much more likely to achieve your resolution if you include a double financial incentive. For instance, money to lose if you fail and money to win if you succeed. And that's because money can be tied to specific, measurable goals and deadlines. In other words, financial incentives help prevent procrastination by establishing a firm start date, and they help prevent you from quitting by establishing a firm goal date. Financial incentives also make weight loss a lot more fun and exciting by turning the whole thing into a game when there's something in it for you with a little cashola there at the end. And number three, only do one thing at a time. Trying to stick to more than one resolution. You're going to get organized. You're going to stop smoking. You're going to be nicer to your family. It just creates what they call willpower diffusion. That's almost always a recipe for failure. Resolutions and goals require good judgment, a lot of decisions, and willpower. So don't dilute your efforts by tacking on a bunch of other resolutions as well. All right, you can read more at gooddaysacramento.com. Click show info there and then today's date at the uh, top of the page. Good stuff. All right.